Hey, what's up, guys? I'm glad to say that I figured out how to play tracks using the Spotify library, and we can also get the currently play current playing track from our Spotify, any Spotify device, and put it into Python in our, to our terminal here. So this took me a few hours to figure out, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how I figured it out, and we can implement this together. All right, so here we go. I'll just show you how it works first. So I'll just run it here. I just printed out some stuff here, but here's our old menu, and it now has the currently playing track. And if we search for an artist now, it still prints out all of the songs, and it gives the album artwork. But if we select a specific song, say 98 for running low, or how about 92? There's the album artwork for that song, and as you can see in my Spotify library, it's playing that song now. So, let's go ahead and get started. There's a few things we have to fix from the last video, and the first thing we're going to do is um, replace our currently installed library with a newer version from GitHub. The one we installed with pip is actually a uh, deprecated version. They just haven't updated it on pip yet. So let's go ahead and get started here and open up Chrome. Another window here. All right, so once you are on Spotify, go ahead. This link will be in the description. Just download this zip file. And then we need to locate Spotify inside of our library, the actual library that we have inside of our Python folder. And it's probably going to be inside of a folder called Site Packages. So go ahead and open that up. And you can see we have a few files here. So now let's leave open this directory and we're going to open up the new directory. So click that zip file. And then go inside your Spotify library. And these are all the new files. And open up the old one again. Okay, so basically we're just going to get rid of the old files from our library. Throw them in the trash. And then we're going to copy in these new files. And we're doing this because in the older version of Spotify, there was no way to play back songs or um, view the current songs. They just recently added that, but it's not on the new version. It's not inside of PIP. All right, so now once we have that, it's time to start modifying our code. So first thing you're going to need is a new scope. We didn't have that before. So just create a variable called scope and add all of these permissions. User read private, user read playback state, and user modify playback state. And separate them with spaces. And once you have those, go ahead and add a scope to your token. So you're going to say username comma scope as well as this one down here. It's going to be the same thing. Username comma scope. Then the next thing you're going to do is get the current device. So we're just going to say devices equals Spotify object dot devices. And we, you can see how that works inside of um, the read the docs.io, basically the description of the API. And then here I just printed out the JSON of that so I could find out where our key was. And here we get the device ID. 
this is basically like my laptop where wherever Spotify is currently playing that's where the device ID is so it's device ID equals devices and then a level down devices the zeroth index and the ID there next we're going to get the track information so track equals Spotify object dot current user playing track and I actually had somebody make a comment in my last video that they wanted to find out how to do this so here is how you do that and then you just print out here I just printed out the JSON to kind of visualize it and then this is the JSON key right here of the artist so track item artists at the zeroth index name and the track is at track item name and then if you're not currently playing a song it'll send back null so I just said if the artist does not equal null or blank print currently playing artist dash track and that's just kind of concatenated together there and that's pretty much the only difference up to this point but if you want to change the current if you copied mine and you want to change how it works to actually play a song come down here and you're going to need to edit this loop here I just said song selection equals input enter a song number to see album art and play the song I added that little bit in there then here you're going to need to create a list I called it track selection list then you're going to need to append the track that they selected to that list so track URIs at the index of the integer of song selection um, and then we just go ahead and start the playback so Spotify object dot start playback which wasn't possible before and then we have the first parameter which is the device ID and that's the current one that we're using right now and then the second parameter is a context URI and we don't need that one so we just pass in none and then we have the track selection list which is basically just the song that they selected and then down here we have the same as before web browser dot open track art and it's the end of the song selection so that's basically it guys I'm I hope you guys find this useful and you can now play tracks and modify tracks and if you need any other permissions just go back to Spotify's website and look at the authorization scopes and add those to your list and make sure you read about all of the functions on spotify.readthedocs.io alright guys I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day thanks for watching and please subscribe thank you